Hey folks, YouTubers, gold miners, gold prospectors, this is the oak. The oak, 5150, metal recovery. Back at my uh, bucket sluice and poop tube sluice. And I made a little bit of change here. It's basically the same thing. All I've done, all I've done different uh, is I put some magnets similar to, well, what did I do? Anyway, I put some magnets in here. I'm not going to take them out right yet. I'll probably show you before I finish the video here. But I just put a stack of magnets in here. There's a little uh, rectangle uh, magnets. Put them in sideways. Built up a little, a little dam with those magnets. Stacked one on top of the other uh, six, and it created a little dam. And it's picking up all the black well, not all the black sands, but it's picking up the black sands and it's creating a little eddy. You can see the little, a couple little eddies behind the the, uh, the magnets there, making a little hump that the material has to go over in order to get down into the sluice. And I've got my water flow pretty, pretty, uh, uh, pretty slow. And my slope, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty level, that one. This one's a little steeper, my bucket, or my uh, drop riffle uh, poop tube sluice is, uh, is going down a pretty good grade, but that's intentional. I'm getting good gold out here, it's real micron gold, um, but it's catching it. And... I know it's missing quite a bit because this is like my second run through this stuff and I'm still getting really good gold. So I mean micron but there's a lot of it in the pan and um, oh shoot let's see. Anyway I just kind of wanted to show you what this little thing here was doing. It's a little eddy. What I like about it mostly is that, put my spoon over here, sorry folks. I like this little eddy here and this is just kind of jerry-rigged on posts and stuff right now but this little eddy you can take I'm trying to show you here but it's it's a nice little place just to put your material and it holds on to it for just a second and then it blows it out and then it gets down into your riffles here and then it starts to your gold's supposed to catch in those riffles which I think it's doing I let it clean out really good once and but now that my magnet is full of black sand and the black sands are still getting by the gold's buried underneath the black sand in my riffles now so but uh, yeah it, it's working pretty good I like the little eddy that it creates that's all I've done I haven't changed anything I just wanted to show you what I've done there with that and uh, gives me a nice little trough to, to set the set the material in it just sits there and washes on down goes over that little bump right there which isn't really part of the setup that's just the magnet sitting in there and the black sand that it has to go over and we all know that black sand will catch micron gold and hold it so I'm kinda using it as a a, a catch as well and then I'll go through my black sands and see if there's any micron gold in my black sands and uh, I'm, running, I'm running pretty slow I don't know if you can see the exchange. There is an exchange going on, and you'll notice that my first two riffles here, uh, it's hard to see it. Sounds kind of in a bad spot. But you'll see my first two riffles aren't even holding anything. And they're pretty much blown out because of the way the, the material is coming across this, this here. The water has to go over this and it blows out, pretty much blows out those first two. If I had a little, uh, you know, a big piece or something, it might lay in there. And then it just kind of 
goes down and clears out from there and then my poop tube I've got it running pretty fast but I've noticed the last time I cleaned it out I had a lot of gold in it so uh, I can see the tops of the black sands it's really hard to really hard to see it over there but anyway That's my setup. Go around here and take a and no, I haven't utilized that pool for a for a pond yet, so <laughs> that's mostly for the dogs to play in if they want to. But that's my setup right there. I'm recircling. There's my pump. Some of you that maybe haven't seen this, got my my water coming in the bucket here, and I've just got this 45 going into the bucket there. Got my material that's catching it down here. I, mean, I might, I might even run that again. I don't know. It's looking like I probably won't, since this is my second time, and it seems to be catching gold pretty good. So. I mean, we're not going to get it all. We're not going to get it all. But yeah, that's my setup right there. And then I've been kind of, wife has kind of pushed me to the other side of the yard now that this, our new patio cover got put in. I've kind of got shoved over in the corner. But that's just the way it is. And uh, missing my partners. Can't wait to get back together with them. Start doing some serious mining again. Watching my mom right now, keeping an eye on her. She's got Parkinson's and kind of having a rough time moving around. Her balance is off and everything, but. but anyway, that's my, uh, that's, I was starting to work on a fluid bed, another fluid bed system. And I just, I don't know. It's it looked like it was going to work really nice and stuff. Let's see where is it? It's right here. I had I had some ideas and I don't know if you can look down in there, but I had a little nozzle I was putting on here. This is the clean out. There's the top feed, and I just didn't have enough water pressure to to run it. I, wa I wanted to try this system right here where the well, the holes graduate up like this. The water starts starts to slowly go through each one until it gets to the top and then overflows the top. But I didn't have enough water pressure to even get to the to like the third or fourth one. I think it was the fourth one I had water coming out of with this pump, and it's just not enough to do it with all the holes that I have down inside here to keep it fluidized. And it just didn't work, so I took it and scrap canned it right now. I might come back to it later on and, and do something to it. This is the this is the bottom. This is what I had in the bottom here. I was going to use that to clean it out. It's got two ways of unscrewing it right here. This uh, this plug right here, or you can just unscrew the whole cap. But anyway, that's that. Didn't work out very well. Not real happy with what it turned out to be. It started to work pretty good, and then all of a sudden, about half full, it just psh, it just plugged everything up. There wasn't enough water pressure to do anything. So, there's my little trail dog, Kepit. Hey, Kepit, say hi to everybody out there in the YouTube world. Hi, say hi, everybody. Sit, Kepit, sit, 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 Kepit, sit. Can you shake? Good girl, shake. Good girl. That's Kepit. That's my trail dog. And uh, there's my, my daughter's husky out there, sniffing around, checking out my lava rocks. I pulled out of, uh, I think those are Arizona rock, um, out there messing around one day. Anyway, this is my, uh, this is my setup. It works really good. Catching micron gold. This bucket sluice is just freaking awesome. I just love it. So anyway, y'all take it easy. The oak. And uh, y'all... I'm out of here. Take it easy. If you like, like it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Please subscribe. I appreciate it if you would. That'd be cool. 
and uh, you can pass this video on anytime you'd like. Uh, I like the poop tube. Anybody uh, has any comments or anything on it, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, pitch, bitch, moan, whatever you want to do. I, I, I'm, I'm good with it all. Uh, let me know if you got an idea that I could improve on. I appreciate it. Take it easy, folks. And oak. Oh, this is the oak, and I'm out of here.